Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial video. Now in today's video I wanted to highlight a few methods that you can use to edit a PDF. Now I'm not talking about uh, creating a PDF or saving a Word document as a PDF. I I'm talking about like in that circumstance where if someone sends you a PDF and for whatever reason if there's a typo or if there's something and you need to edit that PDF to make modifications to it. I'm going to be showing you in this video a few ways, both free and paid, that you can edit a PDF. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first method we're going to be highlighting here is a free one, and that is through the use of Apache's OpenOffice 4 Suite. Um, OpenOffice, if you're not aware, is a free alternative to um, paid Office Suite, such as Microsoft Office, and it does bring the, the same general functionality, but a nice added feature to OpenOffice is the ability to edit a PDF. Now you cannot do this by default. You do actually have to download an extension from the official OpenOffice website. I'm gonna be showing you how to do that here. So what you basically have to do is just go ahead and open up the OpenOffice application like you normally would. And it'll bring you to this screen right here where it's gonna ask you what you wanna do. Now what we wanna do is go up here to this tools menu up here and click on the extensions manager. And when you click on that, it's going to bring up this window right here, and you have a, a few options to add a third-party extension to OpenOffice. Now, what you want to do is click on this Get More Extensions Online button, and it's going to bring up a window that looks like this right here, the uh, Apache OpenOffice Extensions. And on this page, what you want to do is search for the PDF import for Apache OpenOffice. And all you have to do is just click on the Download Extension button right here, and we'll go ahead and download that extension. It'll bring you to this person's website right here, basically the uh, external download page. And you wanna choose your operating system. Since I'm on Windows, I'm just gonna go ahead and click the Windows option. It'll go ahead and download that. And all you have to do once it's finished downloading is just click on it. It will prompt you with this alert right here saying you're about to install the PDF import extension for Apache OpenOffice. Click on OK to proceed. You do that, it's going to ask you to accept the licensing agreement. So we're just gonna go ahead and read this very quickly here. And uh, just go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom, click on accept. So once you have that installed, just go ahead and click on close. And now we will be able to open a PDF document with Apache OpenOffice. So go ahead and click on the open button right here. And I have a few sample PDFs that we're gonna be taking a look at. We're just gonna go, uh, go ahead and start with this YouTube playbook PDF right here. So go ahead and you know choose whatever PDF that you want to edit and click on open. And Apache OpenOffice will then uh, attempt to open it in an editable form. All right, so it has finally uh, converted the PDF to an editable form. And you'll see that it, uh, it actually opens up an OpenOffice draw right here. Uh, you can see that there is some unnecessary spacing in here that we can go ahead and get rid of. Um, this logo down here is a little bit screwed up, but for the most part, it does bring in everything very nicely. Um, so for a free software, this is pretty much the best that you're going to get. Um, but it does allow you to, you know, pretty much, let's say if you want to go ahead and, you know, change this, this word right here to the MJD playbook for brands, you know, you can go ahead and, you know, modify this. It'll keep the same font. You can go ahead and, you know, move things around if you want to resize this background, you know, rotate it, do whatever that you want to do. Change this text here to, you know, whatever that you want. All right, moving on to option number two, and that is using Microsoft Word. Now, Microsoft Word is not free, but chances are if you work in any sort of office environment or if you're a student, you probably already have this software. Um, so it's very simple to do in Microsoft where you don't even need to download any extension. All you have to do is just go over here to file, click on open. And when you actually open uh, that you know PDF document that you want to edit, it will come up with this uh, little information box right here saying Word is now going to convert the PDF to an editable Word document. So click on OK and let it do that. It's going to go ahead and uh, you know convert this Word document over to a editable PDF much faster than OpenOffice did. And all you have to do now is just click on this enable editing button right here, click on okay once again, and it will now uh, allow you to edit this PDF. Now you'll see that it is coming up a little bit better formatted than it did in uh, OpenOffice, but you can see some things are still very screwed up. Uh, this, you know, this image up here is not normally supposed to look like this. But again, I can go ahead and do the same thing. I can change this to whatever that I want it to be. I can move things around. 
I can move things from page to page. Uh, it you know does exactly what you would want it to do. And if you already have Microsoft Word, it's basically free. All right, so for our next method that we're gonna be taking a look at here is specifically for Mac users. And we're gonna be taking a look at a program called PDF Expert right here. Now, PDF Expert actually reached out to me and wanted me to do a video on their software, and they're actually gonna be offering you guys a 10% off discount code if you decide to purchase this software through the link in this video's description. Now, this software does cost $60, but if you are in the market for a uh, piece of software that is specifically designed for PDF editing that also packs some additional features as well, um, this may be a good option for you to consider. Obviously, you're gonna have to make that you know decision yourself, but I just wanted to um, you know kind of just demonstrate what this program has to offer. If you also decide to purchase that uh, this software through the link in this video's description, you're also gonna be helping out this channel as well as PDF Expert is gonna be giving me a small commission for sending you guys to their website. So thank you to PDF Expert. And let's just go ahead and take a look at their software. So when you first open PDF Expert, this is the screen they're going to be presented with. You have the option up here to open a file by either dragging it into the program or you can click on the select file button. And you also have this panel with all of your recent documents. So we're just gonna go ahead and end up open up the same YouTube playbook PDF that I uh, demonstrated in both OpenOffice and Microsoft Word. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, double click on this and it will open up as you can see here. Now PDF Expert has two main modes as indicated by these two buttons up here at the top. We have the annotate mode, which we're in right now, as well as the edit mode. I'm gonna get into the edit mode a little bit later on, but I do wanna talk uh, a bit about the annotate mode. So basically in this mode, what it allows you to do is, uh, as the name suggests, make annotations on top of this PDF. So it's not actually going to allow you, in this mode at least, to edit any of the text or, or the images um, that are in the PDF. This is gonna allow you to put stuff on top of that, kind of like how you would create a new layer in Photoshop. It kind of works that same way here. So it's adding like a whole new layer on top of the PDF. That's going to allow you to do things like add more text boxes, um, you can draw on it, you can make shapes. So just to give you a you know little demo of that, let's say that I wanted to add some text on top uh, of you know this word creator right here. I can just type that in I can move this around any way that I want to. If I just you know drag it like this, I can you know drag it right on top of uh, you know the other text in the PDF. I can go over here to the side, and it will allow me to resize this to whatever size that I want. I can make it you know super large. Um, right now, I have this text both highlighted and uh, changed to the color green. So I can change you know this like background color. I can turn it off if I don't want a background color. I can change this text to say blue. So next up, I just want to highlight these three icons over here very briefly. And this is something that I think could be really useful for somebody. So what you have here are the options to highlight text, uh, underline text, or strike out text. Now this will apply to text uh, within the PDF. And to demonstrate how this works, let's say that you wanted to highlight this introduction text right here. All you have to do is just uh, click on that highlight icon and just basically drag your mouse right over it and it will automatically highlight that text. And it is able to tell uh, from within the PDF what is text and what isn't text. So if I go ahead and go to this underline thing right here, it will only apply to text. So even if I'm, you know, going uh, across this and I start moving my, you know, mouse up and down, it's only going to apply to this text. So this basically allows you to do some simple modifications to the PDF that you would normally do when you actually print it out. And you, you know, if you want to highlight something or underline something, uh, you can obviously do that. You know, when you print it out, and then you can scan it back into email to somebody. Well, PDF Expert kind of takes out the whole printing portion of that you know process and just allows you to do all of those modifications right within the software which is pretty nice so now let's jump into one of my favorite features of this uh, application and that is this icon up here and what this is is called my signatures it basically allows you to drag your signature out over this document anywhere that you want so kind of think of um you know something that you would normally have to sign you'd have to uh, you know, receive the PDF, print it out, sign it, and scan it back in if you want to email it to somebody. Again, what PDF Expert is doing here is taking out that whole printing portion 
and you can just affix your signature to the document without even having to print it out and actually sign it yourself. And there are a few different ways of creating a uh, signature in PDF Expert. So if we go ahead and click on this Add Signatures button right here, it uh, pops up with this new signature window. And what you can do from here is choose from these three options. You have Keyboard, Trackpad, and Image. Now, uh, keyboard is you know the most simple one out of all these. Basically, just allows you to type your name. So you know if your name was John Doe, uh, that's how that the signature would look. There's there's no real option for changing the font or anything. It just kind of has this uh, you know cursive font to make it look like a real signature. You can click on this clear button right here to clear it. You can also change the uh, color to blue, purple, or the default black. What's also pretty nice is if we click on this trackpad uh, button right here. So what you can do here is actually sign your name using your Mac's trackpad. So I can go ahead and click on this click here to begin button and I can just go to my trackpad and start signing my name. So you know I can go ahead and sign my name, do whatever that I gotta do. And once you're done signing your name on your trackpad, you just press any key when finished and it goes ahead and it saves it. And then I can go ahead and do the same thing with the keyboard. I can change the color to purple or blue and also change how big that I want it to be. So you can have your signature put in that way. You can also go to the image tab over here and just import an image of your signature that you've taken as well. So that is probably one of my favorite features of this program that I could see being uh, you know, really useful to somebody who is signing a lot of papers. Another really cool addition is uh, what's called stamps. And stamps I could also you know, see being very useful for somebody who is in an office environment. Basically what you do here is uh, this basically is trying to imitate the functionality of actually stamping a document with like an approved stamp and not approved for public release, confidential, that sort of thing. So let's say that this document that I'm working on was confidential and I want to share it with anybody. So I can just go ahead and drag this confidential stamp, or not the completed one, this confidential one. I can place it any, uh, anywhere that I want on the document. And I can also resize it, you know, if I want to make it really large or really small, I can do that and I can place it anywhere that I want. So you see that they do have a few default stamps in here. Um, and you can also just go to this custom tab and actually import your own stamps as well. So that's basically a gist of all the features that is in this annotate mode right here. And with the edit mode, it is also pretty simple as well. I mean, this works, you know, pretty much the same like it did in OpenOffice and in my, uh, Microsoft Word, it basically just allows you to edit the text that's already in the PDF. So if I want to change this text right here, if I want to erase it or just type something else entirely, I can do that totally fine. And uh, you also have some options to uh, add images, add links, and you know that sort of thing to the uh, to the document as well. I can also, if I want to move like this entire background image around, I can do that. I can resize it if I want to. Um, so they do make it very easy to actually edit not only the text but the images as well. So that is a general overview of PDF experts, uh, and that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. That is how. Uh, three very solid methods of editing a PDF on Windows, Mac, and also Linux as well because uh, OpenOffice uh, works on Linux. So, But yeah, that is basically going to wrap it up for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If this helped you out, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this in the near future. And also be sure to let me know your thoughts on what method that you use to edit a PDF. Have you ever used any of this software, any of these three methods? Uh, which one of these you know, would you prefer? Or are there any methods that I didn't touch on uh, in, in this video that you feel are even better than these three options that I showed you? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And as always, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.